It's just Visual Studio. And I know the other half have VMs just for testing IE. <laughs> <laughs> there is no reason why you can't all use this. And today I'm going to do it. I don't want to build this up too much, but this is a very risky demo. It relies entirely on having an active internet connection at a conference. <laughs> So I'm taking a risk, but hopefully it's all going to work out. So what I have here is a short little Python app. It's a guess the number game. Uh, I'll just hit F5 and start running it. Simple question, Steve is my name. Um, and straight away we'll put a breakpoint. That's in there, that's okay. We'll come back to this later. I'll hit F5 to continue for now. Well, Steve, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 20. Take a guess. What number should we guess first? 4. <laughs> Let's go with 10, I don't want to take too long. 15, 18, 17. There we go, good job, you guessed my number in five guesses. Now that's great, we've hit another break point, which is why we've come back here. And the game is over. So, let's make this a little more interesting. I have here an Ubuntu virtual machine that's running on Windows Azure. This is a live connection over the internet, it's up in the cloud. Please turn off your BitTorrent clients, I don't want this going down. <laughs> and we can do exactly the same thing. It's the same program. What's your name, Steve? Too low. Four guesses, so I'm getting better. <laughs> I am, I can do even better again, because what I'm going to do this time is cheat. So I have the script here. We saw that I can already debug on Windows just by hitting F5 and we, see, and we hit the breakpoints. It's a different story on Linux. <coughs> it's a different story on Mac. This also works on Mac as well, but I can't do a VM of that. So, What I'm going to do here is start typing. I'm going to import our debugger module, Python tools for Visual Studio, PTVSD is the debugger. And then inside that I'm going to call this enable attach function. Here I can put in SSL certificates, uh, restrict the address. I'm just going to put a little password. Let's use PyCon. And that's all the changes that I've had to make to my code. Uh, I can run over to PSCP and let's upload that. Good. And now, back onto the virtual machine and we'll run it again. So now it's exactly the same script with those two little changes. Our debugger is live, it's running inside it. I can come back over to Visual Studio, bring up the attached to process, I'll put in the qualifier, which I prepared earlier. And we see... On this, we see the process that's running on that virtual machine up in the cloud. Double click on that and I've attached to it. Our debugger is running or attached to this virtual machine. So now I can come back here and continue the game. What's your name? Steve. And we've hit a breakpoint. The Visual Studio on Windows. <laughs> we can see the call stack. We can jump up to where we were called from. Everything you could normally do inside Visual Studio. The thing we're interested in here is our local variables. We can see my name there. I enter that into name. If I step down a couple of lines. Oh, random.randint. That might be picking the number. <laughs> so, let's continue. <laughs> well, Steve, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 20. Take a guess. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Good job, Steve. <laughs> you guessed my number of guesses. <laughs> and here we can see the output is actually being sent back to Visual Studio. There's no need to be SSH'd into the machine at all. We can do it completely remotely. We don't need to be logged into the machine. This can be running in production. Our debugger, until you actually break into it, is very lightweight. Uh, and so, when you need to attach to it, you can, you can call this enable attach when something goes wrong. Print a message, turn on enable attach. You've sent an SMS to your engineer. He can fire up his, you know, he can reboot into his Windows partition. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start up Parallels and log in. Right. So nobody can say that Microsoft aren't taking Python seriously on the cloud. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Great. Thank you.